Hello everyone, my name is Saeed Bamatraf. I am a PhD student under the supervision of Prof. Omar Ramahi. Today, I would like to talk about my research topic, which is developing a non-invasive continuous glucose monitoring system using microwave sensor with machine learning. There are three categories for continuous glucose monitoring, invasive, minimally invasive, and non-invasive. In invasive continuous glucose monitoring, a blood sample is extracted using a lancet. Typically, the fingertip is the most widely used human body part. In minimally invasive, measuring the glucose level is done by subcutaneously needle-type electrodes implanted in the body. In order to overcome the shortcomings of the invasive and minimally invasive continuous glucose monitoring system, such as pain, discomfort, and risk of infection, there is a desperate need for a simple, non-invasive, and pain-free continuous glucose monitoring method as it will make a major improvement in the field of diabetes care. Our proposed non-invasive continuous glucose monitoring system has two parts. The hardware, which is the microwave sensor to collect the data, and the software, which is the machine learning algorithm to analyze and predict the glucose level. As we can see from this figure, the sensor will send the signal to the human body and the reflected signal will contain the signature of the glucose based on the dielectric parameter interaction. Then this signal will, send, will be sent to the machine learning to analyze and predict the actual glucose level. Why we choose microwave? Because it's inexpensive, comfortable, non-invasive and non-ionizing. Non-ionizing means that the molecular structure of the biological tissue remains unaltered because the microwave sensor don't produce ionizing radiation. After fabricating the spiral microwave sensor, we use it in experiment and simulation. For experiment, we test the sensor initially in water glucose solution with nine different concentrations as a proof of concept and to check the sensitivity of the sensor to the concentration. For simulation, we designed a hand model with four different layers, skin, fat, blood, and bone. Then we apply the sensor on the hand model to collect the, the response obtained by changing the dielectric properties of the layers. This figure here shows the response of the sensor to the different glucose concentration. And then we have selected some features to be embedded for the regression to predict the actual glucose level. And we have got here using the cubic SVM support vector machine model, we got the least root mean square error, which is 4.27. Also we have the fundamentals of the system. A lot of work still needed in the future, especially we need real data from humans as the device intended for them. I would like to thank all of you for listening to my presentation. Goodbye.